Jade here from The Rawsome Truth. Today I'm going to talk to you about one of my favourite topics, the scales. Oh my goodness, I have seen in my life working in a huge weight loss company, women do crazy things with scales. I have seen women strip down to next to nothing. I have seen them even take their rings off, their watches, their bras, their Pentons, everything possible just to get a little bit of movement on the scales. So what are my beliefs on scales? Do we need them? Maybe, maybe not, who knows. But does everything with our health and our weight loss come down to the scales? No way, no. You can get to a point where you can have such an unhealthy obsession with the scales where you're weighing yourself morning, noon and night. Or even every day I think is a little bit obsessive. If you must weigh yourself, I would limit it, limit it to once a week, wear the same thing every day, every time you weigh yourself and weigh yourself at the same time. That is a, a clear way to get some form of an indication. But I don't believe the scales are the only way to see results. In fact, if you want my advice, if you've got an obsession with the scales, throw the bloody things out. And I'm serious, throw them out. They can mess with your head so much. I know. <laughs> Believe me, I know. I've had a mess with my head and I've seen them mess with many of many a woman's head. So why do they mess with our head? Because we put such value on that number. But we're far more than a number. But you know what else? People don't always see shift on the scales, especially if they're building muscle but you can see a shift in your definition, your shape, and even your, your measurements. So what do I advise people instead of the scales? Before and after pictures, take progress pictures. Nothing works better for your head than a picture. A picture speaks a thousand words, and it's far more better than that pathetic little number on the scales. For instance, since I have been becoming raw, I haven't lost excessive weight. Not like your will on a calorie restriction weight loss, and that's what I was always used to, it just, it comes off. It's very slow and very gradual, but I've noticed so many different changes, and that was really important to look at. My skin is a lot more hydrated because I'm on such a hydrating diet. When you're eating fruits and vegetables, you're hydrated, your skin's hydrated, the elasticity in your skin is hydrated. But I've noticed my, my waist has gone down and I was heavily bloated. I became extremely bloated when I moved into a, ve a vegan diet because of the excessive grains that I, wa what I was having and it was not working well with my digestion. So I watched my belly go down. I watched my thighs and my butt changing um, size, which uh, if I can find the photos, I'll pop them in. And I took photos fortnightly. So fortnightly I took progress photos and you can look at the different ways and shapes of how you are and it's amazing when you look and you go, wow, that's a difference, that's a difference. I've even noticed a difference from coming here and I've started including a lot more exercise again because I took a couple of months off exercise prior to coming here because I was working probably about 100 hours a week. And I just, I, I couldn't manage it all. I was just, and I just knew I had to keep working because I needed the money to get where I needed to go. And little bits of fat deposits started depositing again around my waist and my thighs. So I took a photo even when I first came here to now just having the exercise come in. And the, the transformation just in that time is amazing. So take photos don't put all your worth on those scales and it'll just do wonders for your mindset. Take measurements, get a tape measure. Measure your waist, measure your butt, um, bust, measure your butt, 
measure your top part of your arm because you will lose weight in this part of your arm you can even measure your neck measure your ankles wherever and you will find you'll lose a little bit of weight in your ankles measure your thighs measure these places and see the differences the other thing to do is have say a pair of jeans or a skirt something relatively tight fitting and see each fortnight or month the improvement and how it comes to eventually you go wow it fits and you might even say it doesn't fit anymore what a great feeling other things I'd love you to look at rather than just scales and weight loss is actual improvement so it might be you know you're looking to say my hair's improvement you know I haven't got as many wrinkles around my eyes my skin's clearer all different things like that um, are great things to focus on look at your health how it's um, progressed if you know you've come off medication oh, that is huge you know those kind of things to look at also if you are starting to um, include exercise in your diet uh, in your diet in your lifestyle look at the progress so are you running further um, are you running faster are you jumping more are you able to get through you know at first it might be only one song of aerobics that you do yourself can you get through three songs now all those different things can make a huge difference to your mindset and how you feel about yourself and most importantly is to concentrate on your self-love and self-improvements that way how do I feel about myself within when you start to love yourself further you more you're not looking at all those superficial things like scales you're starting to focus more on your health your mind how, how you're improving physically mentally psychologically emotionally all those things make up make you up so it's not just a physical factor and really start to Put your focus on your health rather than the scales. Anyway, they're my little hints and tips on the scales. Throw them away and if you must have them, stick to once a week. Okay, that's it for today. Love life and live free. Bye for now.